If you think about it, this theory sounds plausible. Think of a woman creating a child inside her. The woman consumes food, which is matter. This matter is absorbed by her body and used as energy. This energy is then used to create her child, a new life. Our creation just has an extremely long birth. The rebirth of our own universe. This theory shares similarities with our last point and based on a concept called the big bounce. Similar to an accordion being played, contraction, expansion. The birth of our universe and black holes share something in common. The singularity that we spoke of in the introduction. A place so infinitely dense that we cannot even comprehend, let alone understand it. Both share similarities in that they are a place where all its matter lies. What if all the black holes in our universe slowly merge together and eventually consume all matter and light in the universe? That singularity would theoretically hold everything that ever existed within it. If that is the case, then our black hole singularity, on having no more matter to consume, could blow out our dead universe and give life to a new one, our own universe being continually recycled forever. It sounds like a beautifully natural solution to the theory of how our own universe was created, and is a slight spin on our last point. They are the hiding place of highly advanced civilizations. We know that our own civilization seems to find it impossible to live without our precious fossil fuels, but we like to think that our universe is vast enough that at least a handful of civilizations took the correct path and were forever striving to harvest their own natural resources without endangering their environment and its people. This civilization would be type 3 or more on the Kardashev scale. The Kardashev scale is the method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the amount of energy a civilization is able to use.